All right, so uh, the Google <laughs> A-list thing is going on right now. It's uh, happening right now. What this is is that Google flies in all the A-listers. So it's Barack Obama, it's Leonardo Di- DiCaprio. There's a prince involved. Uh, yes, the royal people. Is yes, there, the... Katy Perry and all them. Katy Perry and her two friends. And they're all in uh, Athens, Greece. Right. They're all partying hardy, but the whole point is how do we solve global warming? How do we solve climate change? Once so far, 114 jet airplanes have been flying there. <laughs> so far, four dozen yachts. They all feature the big, big engines. And so far, they've all been cruising around the uh, Athens Island in Greece in a Maserati. In Maserati. So they I all have Maserati. Katie came in a Maserati, yeah, right? Right. She probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, she did come in a Maserati, as a matter of fact. It's about yes. $5 to the gallon. Yes, right. <laughs> five, five, <laughs> five, 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 uh, five gallons to the mile. Five gallons to the mile, right. 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 Uh, you know, but whenever you bring up the, because these people live extraordinarily luxurious lives. DiCaprio's got a personal yacht. He's got personal jets. But when you criticize them on the hypocrisy of it, because they're staying at a, at a, Vedora Resorts, which is, I guess, a premier. Oh, yeah, man. It's big. It's It's a big, uh, probably a bit of a, it's got a few golf courses, probably a bit of a carbon footprint there. You you know if they're flying in Sting and Elton John to play for you, this is a big (laughs) deal, right? This is a big deal. They're bringing in some cruise line uh, folk singers. You know, these are Elton John is playing this gig, Sting. You know, and if you point out the hypocrisy, what's the first thing they say? Don't kill the messenger. Well, that's right. I'm using my celebrity well, to spread the message. I, Duh. I remember years ago, man, uh, when Leonardo DiCaprio, he, he owns a jet like the size of a 737, <laughs> yes, which is a Southwest Airlines jet. OK. And I remember he went to one of these things somewhere in Central America or somewhere, and he rode on his own jet alone. There was a picture of him in the jet the size of a Southwest Airlines jet sitting there alone flying to a conference about global warming and climate and his change. his deep concern for the planet and the and Mother Earth, who he actually made a documentary at one point, I believe, about uh, the awfulness of climate change. You know, he flies around in his own jet. <laughs> nice. By himself. Well done, man. <laughs> we'll follow your example. Uh, yeah, we'll, we're going to get a yacht. <laughs> and I, you know what? I, you know, if people live that lifestyle because they've earned it and all that, I, well, I, I don't but, care yeah. about the lifestyle. I'm talking about the hypocrisy the... of telling you and me to get out of our, our little old bitty cars, our little bitty crap cars, we got to get out of them because we're destroying the world, and here they are flying by themselves on jets to something like yeah, that. Yeah, you and I got to ride unicycles to yes, work, okay? Yes. But but DiCaprio, because he's the message bearer, right? He his celebrity needs a private jet. Well, uh, Nirenberg, uh, the mayor, uh. keeps he keeps tweeting about the new climate plan that they're going to introduce very soon. Oh, right, right. And we cannot do nothing. Uh, doing nothing is not an answer and all that kind of stuff. And and the last time they introduced this climate plan, it was almost abolishing of all vehicles in San Antonio <laughs> by 2050. These guys need to lead by example. He rides around in a black navigator with a driver. He does. Get out of the navigator. Get out of the Start navigator. Start riding a bicycle. Ride, ride a pony or ride a bicycle. You know, maybe a pogo stick. Something like that. Take a pogo stick to City Hall. We'll respect you more if you hop your ass on a pogo stick That's down the City Hall. That's the problem with this. It's like Al Gore when he did the movie, man. He, you know, you, they showed pictures of his house, and his house had 20 air conditioner units. <laughs> 20! Look, I've always pointed out the, the, the thing about Al Gore. He will say he first learned of this crisis when? Yeah, right. In the late 60s, early 70s. That's right. Odd that he didn't devote himself full-time to saving the planet until he, he lost the presidential uh, bid and his career, his political career was over. Uh, then he focuses on this crisis he's known about for 40 years. It's the same thing with Joe Biden. If you elect me, I'm going to cure cancer. If you don't elect me, I'm not going to cure <laughs> I'm cancer. Gonna I'm no, not going to bother curing cancer. You don't deserve my cure for cancer. But if you, if you elect me, me I will. 